Hi guys, it's Cindy with Pups and Crochet. I told you I would be back. Okay, I found some more yarn that I ordered and was in a box that we didn't open yet. So, but this one I ordered why I was out by Sadie. After they all went to bed, I went online. And I showed you before in one of the videos, the coffee shops, and I got a few of them. And the one that I wanted, the Kona, is K-O-N-A, Kona, was out. They don't have it. So this is 284 yards, 260 meters. It's 85% acrylic and 15% wool. And it's a number three. And it's by Premier. Now this color I was waiting for because they were out. And the other places they were more expensive than what they were offering. So I didn't get this through Premier. I got this through Hirschner's because their price was actually a dollar cheaper than Premier. See the colors? Isn't it pretty? Look at that. And it is so squishy. On Cindy's squish factor, honestly, I have to give this a 10 and a half. This blows the 10 away. This is so soft. Right? And Noah's back out with me. She wants to play with the yarn. She likes to unravel it sometimes. And, or she likes to eat the wrappers. I don't know why. She eats it, balls it up, then climbs up on my head and she puts balls of paper in my hair. I don't know why. If it's like a nesting thing or something she does. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I got four of them. And yes, that's all I got in that order. Can you believe it? That was it. One order of four things. So, let's see what I found in this box. Okay, now these, now this stuff is actually from Premier that I had ordered, um, I guess from the Black Friday specials. Okay, and these are, I got a few things in this box, so. These are the DK colors, 383 yards, 350 meters. It's a number three and it's 100% anti-pilling acrylic. And this color is autumn. And no, it is not being blown out on the camera. It is actually that vibrant and beautiful. And there's green like stuck down in there. So beautiful. And honestly, guys, on my squish factor, I'm giving this one an 11. This is the squishiest yarn so far. It is so soft. And it's anti-pilling, which is awesome. So, did I tell you the color? Autumn? Yeah, I got what, two of these. And see, these are both wound different. Sorry for the crinkle. But see, this one has the green, a lot more green. And it's wound different than this one. So they're both going to do two different patterns, which would be awesome to see. And I'll let you know how they work up when I get to them. And then I got two, the same specs on these. And I got two of these. And they're called Rose Garden. I don't want to open the bag because it's all the same. But, um... Look at the pretty colors. Isn't that springy? Let's see. Do I have any more of that? Yes, I do. This one is actually, I think Robert's been in my stash. He opened this one. This one is called Waves. And they got the easy pull tab, which is great for this one. One of them is a pull tab. 
You see the blues and the grays, and then it goes light blue into like dolphin blue into a dark blue. It's so pretty. So I got two of those. I always buy everything in twos. That way, if I run out, I always have a backup. Let's see, what else do I have? Do I have any more of those? Do I have any more of those? No, I think those are the only two that I bought of those colors. Okay, now on to the next set of stuff because I've been wanting to try this. But I was waiting for the sale. So this is Premier Garden. There is 284 yards, 260 meters, is 100% acrylic, and it's number three. Now open this one up to show you. And this one is called Periwinkle. See all the different blues and grays in there? And it is a very, very thin three. Very thin. I mean, I'd almost say this is a two, but it is very squishy. I would have to give this about a nine on Cindy's squish factor, but it's called the Premier Garden, and this is the Periwinkle. So I got a few different colors, but they're all the same specs, and they're all 284 yards. So, but this one, I got three. So I got three of this color. Then I got three of this one. And this is called succulent. Like those little plants. And they do look like little succulent plants. Very pretty. Okay, so I got that one. Then I got this color is Snapdragon. Look at those. Is that gorgeous? Pinks and blues and golds and light blues. It's really pretty. And they're all wrong different. So they're all going to have a different pattern, which would be awesome. And I will let you, it, yeah, it says it's 100% micro acrylic. I don't know what the difference is between acrylic and micro acrylic. But this one's Snapdragon, and it is a very beautiful color. Then I have this one, and this is Dusty Rose. And it's got the rose, it's got like a really a grayish green in it, a light pink. Very pretty. This one. I have to say, I think Snapdragon right now is my favorite. This one is Delilah. Look at those. Pinks and blues. That's the name. That's what I call my giraffe that I bought. It's a statue, and she was in really rough shape. So I redid her, and she's gorgeous, and I named her, because giraffes are my favorite, and then elephants. And then for mystical, it's dragons and fairies. But look at those colors, isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And this again is, what did I say it was? Delilah, Delilah. Okay, this one is called Morning Glory. It's got greens, blues, purples, this really, really lime green going through it. Very, very pretty. And again, it's, this one is Garden Baltic. And these are just called Garden. So I'm thinking the labels just got changed. So you went from Garden to Garden Baltic. So I think they just changed the 
labels. Then I have, I got five morning glories. Thought I only had two. Okay, then I got this color, and this one is Mountain Heather. It's got pinks and purples and greens and dark greens and white. It's so pretty. I mean, they show you the picture on the front, like what you can make with it. So this one is just a garden. Then I have this color, which is Mill Pond. This is just some blues, greens, whites. It's very pretty, very neutral for like, you could do it for boys or girls. This one is gorgeous. And it's called Azalea. Look at that one. Pinks, all different shades of pinks, oranges, yellows, blues. Isn't that pretty? And I got three of them. And these are also the Garden Baltic. I think they just changed the label because they're both garden. They're all garden. And then I got this one. And this one is called... pebble kind of looks like a pebble it's all gr different grays dark grays light grays going into like a bluish gray pretty pretty and then i got this one i didn't have in the colors and it's called lilac and it is a Premier Nordica. And it's just all different shades of grays to white. And this one is a self pattering design, 546 yards, 500 meters. And it is a number three. But it shows you like right there what the pattern is. I think when I showed this before, this was the color that was out and it finally had come in or something because I don't know why it's not with that one. And then what is this one? Well, this one's Water Lily. It's got purples, blues, greens, light blues into a dark purple and they're all wound different. So they are all gonna make a different pattern. So these are really cool. I love these colors. But I have to say, out of all of them, I think that it is a, uh, a tie, kind of. Uh, I can't tell. I can't just pick one. But I think it's a tie between the Snapdragon and the Delilah. So these are the two that I think are my favorite. But the weird thing is, the one that caught my eye is the Morning Glory, that green. But I actually fell in love with this one. When this one, the Snapdragon. I just think that is so beautiful. So many different colors. Yeah. You like that one too? You like the Snapdragon? This one. Do you like this one? You don't know yet? Huh? Or do you like this one? That looks like you. Does this look like Noah? These are Noah colors. Huh? Yeah, you like that one? All right. Noah has spoken. And Peanut would actually just take the opposite one away from whatever Noah picks because Peanut does not like Noah at all. <laughs> right? Right, baby? Right? 
Okay, so I've taken up enough of your time. I am going to let you go now. I wanted to show you that because I still had a box that I did not show. And I need to pack it up, put it in its wrappers with these, and then put them away for when I use them. I'm working on, I got so many whips going, and I'm trying to get them done so I can show you different things and to just show off the yarn so that you can see how it looks. And I hope you guys have a great week, great weekend, everything, and we will catch you next time. We are sending you hugs, prayers if you need them, and puppy kisses. And we are also telling you, remember, adopt. Don't shop. There are way too many babies that are out there that need a home. Okay? Catch you guys later. Bye.